Hello, y'all. It's 10.51 p.m. <sighs> well, um, finally I get some peace and quiet. Excuse me. <sighs> Sorry. Now they do it every time I try to do a video, but I thought it was only when I'm laying down in, in a hotel room that it caused me to yawn. So, um, it was like chaotic and noisy all day long. So, I probably should have used the bathroom before starting this video. Hold on right quick. Okay, so now it's 11.05, so <clears throat> I had to go, and I couldn't hold that. So, <clears throat> I don't have that much time to talk, but I have to be out there in 36 degree weather, and then... <clears throat> I thought they said tomorrow was supposed to be 30 degrees, but it'll be, I mean, I'm sorry, I thought they said tomorrow was supposed to be 28 degrees, but they're saying that tomorrow and Wednesday night is supposed to be um, 30 degrees both nights, but that's still too cold, and 36 degrees is still too cold, <clears throat> so... Um, well, this morning, they had some men doing some work here, and, I mean, after I ate breakfast, and then they had these two boys who were talking for hours, talking loud and laughing while I was trying to sleep, and couldn't sleep that well. And then I was forced to put in my earbuds. So I think I must have slept from between 9.30 and 10 o'clock all the way till like 1 o'clock. And then I ate lunch. And then I just was, you know... trying to go back, get more sleep, but couldn't sleep. And I wrote a small blog post about what are my favorite, I guess my top five favorite homeless resource websites or, you know, from people who, you know, experience in homelessness and stuff. <clears throat> but, you know, d certain circumstances make it harder for me and then being targeted you can't get the same things that everybody else get <clears throat> excuse me so um so then i ate dinner and then came back here so um i wanted to work on some short stories but my body was too weak too sleep deprived. I'm feeling sleep deprived and tired right now. And then it's like I couldn't get any peace or quiet or anywhere. Um, I tried to go to a different room. They had this guy. I don't know what nationality he was. And the female was a white girl. And they were both sitting next in the room next to me talking loud and laughing for hours. So I had to leave out of there, and they had these two girls that stole my spot over here. And then, um, <clears throat> like, when I came at around 10 o'clock, they left, and so I got this spot back. And it was, like, close to 1045, and I was wondering, why is it still loud? You know, but now I guess most people left, and it quieted down So. But, um, 
So now, I mean, what I did was I bought seven more days worth of um, bus, bus, you know, day passes for the bus, which is $35. So um, I don't have, well, as far as, at, you know, bus fare, I don't have anything to worry about for up until, you know, till next Monday. And then next Monday I get my social, supposed to get my social security check because th these social, fake social security bastards, they'll sit there and cut off your checks without even warning you in advance. Like what they did my um, SSI check. They were supposed to have owed me and they always got crooked business going on. And as I said, they gang stalked me really bad and try to set me up to go off every time I try to do business and try to get stuff straightened out. So I just let stuff be now. I be trying to avoid going, like, I mean, I be trying to avoid going to the Social Security office nowadays. I try to avoid it like the plague. So um, I don't even, I mean, I tried twice here in Cincinnati and I mean, well, I should try to show y'all what happened. <clears throat> but, you know, they will find some loophole or excuse to refuse service, even looking for something bogus. So, um, but also, um, after I woke up around one o'clock, I had an excruciating headache all afternoon and then I didn't the headache ran, went away when I I didn't even realize it went away when I ate dinner like I ate lunch and the headache still didn't go away but then once I ate dinner it went away but now it's trying to come back and I have like extreme heavy pressure on my heart I have heavy pressure on my heart and feeling very sleep deprived and still can't sleep and still got to be hyper vigilant and keep both eyes open and be like extra awake and aware with everything and um so dang like tonight tomorrow night and wednesday night i definitely would have needed and need wish i could you know have help what you know hotel room but now after buying the bus tickets and having food to eat, eat today and stuff um i have you know just barely enough for one hotel night if there would be no deposit but um if i were to take the hotel room night then i would have no money for food left over. Because, see, I, I, as I say, I'm taken care of with the bus fare. I'm taken care of with the bus fare, but I had to buy some toiletries and stuff like that. I had to buy it. Well, I'm not going to even say because, I mean, I don't have to. I don't have to, you know, but, um, <clears throat> but, So, um, so I have to choose between, you know, eating good for two or three more days and suffering out in the cold or, you know, having one comfortable night in a shower while, I'm going to say it, while I'm menstruating, one night in a shower, um, I mean, I mean, one night for a hotel room and shower and everything. But um, it seemed like this weekend it's supposed to start warming up some. Plus, it, but it's supposed to do a lot of raining. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I mean, it's supposed to warm up some, but do a lot of raining. But um, next week, I think it's supposed to rain and get warmer like real spring weather. I'm like, yes. 
you know, so, um, so it's like, I'm kind of out of breath because my heart, due to the sleep deprivation, my heart feels like it's lacking oxygen. <clears throat> so, um, I'm getting com these days of the week confused. It's Monday night, right? Yeah, so tomorrow's Tuesday. So, um, I have not been able to stretch out and lay down since Saturday morning when I woke up and had to leave the hotel. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm going to end up like suffering like a bitch for the next three or four days. Like Thursday is supposed to be, Thursday night is supposed to be kind of cold too, but not in the 30s, but in the 40s. And then it's supposed to kind of climb up a little bit and then start raining and getting a little bit more spring weather. <clears throat> so, um, so it's like, torture it's like I mean it's like it's, every day is like a struggle to survive just about um yeah so um so it's like with the pressure on my heart because due to the sleep deprivation it's like, that's why I'm having a hard time, like, trying to breathe right now. But I'm going to be all right. I just wish I could. I mean, I need some sleep. I mean, I need some proper rest. <clears throat> so, um, so, I mean, I guess I have to struggle out there and suffer out in the cold. I have to suffer out in the cold. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. But, I mean, I can't even say anything good because even when I say good stuff, it gets weaponized against me. So I gotta be quiet. So, um, I'm feeling slow right now. Like with the heavy pressure on my heart, my heart feels slowed in the same way as if I was on a dosage of psychiatric medication. This is exactly how I am. Um, with my heart feeling slowed. Feels like I'm on that um, Seroquel or something like that. That's what, It feels like I'm on Seroquel. But my heart feeling slowed and I have a lot of heavy pressure. So, um, um, I wish I could talk some more, but I have to prepare to leave out of here. And um, I showed y'all twice the fake wannabe perp Darnell. I mean, the perp who delusional, the telephone scatologia, sex trafficking perp. You know, he sees he's mocking my homelessness and my targeting and terrorizing and harassing me. I keep blocking him. He's causing me to lose TikTok followers and supporters. And um, he's, you know, I, I showed in a community post the crazy lies he was saying, you know. <clears throat> but I don't even care to live in a penthouse. If I can just live in a um, one-bedroom cottage or a small, tiny house, you know, but then again, I get claustrophobic with spaces too small. But if I lived in just a one-bedroom small house 
or even if it was just like a small house with just like a efficiency or studio apartment, but just the whole house by itself, like a zero bedroom house, you know, where the living room is the bedroom. And I don't care to have, I don't have to have no company. You know, a small zero bedroom house or one bedroom house and bathroom, kitchen. Um, I would be fine with that, you know. But me, if I had stuff out of my storage unit, I would need like a one bedroom and use the bedroom as like the storage unit and sleep in the living room. I've had to do that. I've done that before. But, you know, I lived in an efficiency apartment in Denton, Texas. I lived in a one-bedroom in New Orleans Towers. That was big. That place was big. And um, I think I had a one-bedroom in Milwaukee. In Los Angeles, I had a one-bedroom. Um, I had a one-bedroom in Jefferson. and But I think in the... Um, that last house that I was staying in before I became chronically homeless, if the gang stalking didn't happen, that would that would have been well other than the plumbing issues in the bathtub, um, I would have considered almost considered that my favorite house to live in. But the perps the perp neighbors bullied and abused me and made me feel unsafe and they torture me with the electronic weapons plus use the noise harassment noise campaign and they made me feel unsafe and they ran me out of there just like they ran me out of um jefferson so jefferson louisiana and gretna you know they ran me off from everywhere and like before doing this video i was feeling sad that um you know thinking about being you know, wrongfully kicked out of my hometown, New Orleans, you know, where if I can't have any place to live there, then it's like I can't even go over there and no family wants me around. So I couldn't even visit unless I had a lot of money and paid for my own hotel. That's what drunk lady, my aunt Yvonne said, you know, don't come back down here no more. And if you do, you go stay in a hotel. Well, how come other family members could come spend the night by you or spend live by stay by you when vacationing in town? And they can come whenever they want, and they're always welcome. My twin sister has spent nights over there, but I never spent I never got to spend a night over there. My own aunt's house ever. I visited a few times, and I can almost count on my hands how many times I visited. It. That's my biological mom's sister. I mean, you hate me based on lies you heard and then make it like you know me like a book. That's the whole family. But um, it's 11.23, so I got to get going. And I'll see y'all in a few minutes cause, to show y'all the craziness. So I got to go.